All right, so in this one, we're going to create a custom template filter um, that's going to allow us to turn any sort of string into something that we could share. Um, so if we jump into our project, we're going to go into the posts app and we're going to make a new folder in here. And it's going to be called template tags. So down here, template tags. And we're going to make it a Python module with init in here. And then we're going to name the filter the same name as the file. So I'm going to call this URL fi .py. And we're going to import a few things. So from URL lib import quote plus, and then from Django import template, it's going to be lowercase template, and then register equals to template dot library. And then we'll just define the URL of I value and it's going to return quote plus of the value. And we need to register this, so register filter. Okay, so um, what's happening here is we are getting the Django template library and we're just registering this as a filter, so something that we can use inside of the templates. Um, so we're going to close out the init and then we'll open up our uh, post detail. And at the very top, we'll do load URL fi. And then wherever we want to use that URL fi stuff, such as the, instead of the share st string, we can do instance.content and URL fi. You can save that. Um, it might run an error at first because we might actually have to reset our server. So let's run the server again and refresh in here. Now it actually works. Um, it's hard to see that it actually did do the same thing. So I'm going to go instance.content urlify as well as share link. And we refresh in here. And what we should see is the exact same thing twice. So let's put a break tag here to see it. And it looks like it might not actually be coming through. So let's come back in here and I'm going to get rid of that share link. Refresh that that's coming through okay. And of course that's it's supposed to be share string and not share link. There we go. And it's the exact same thing twice. All right, so it's actually working. Um, and that's what the filters do. So that's a built-in or a custom filter that we just created versus the built-in ones, which was something like time since. Right, so that's a type of filter that's built into Django. Uh, but this URLify probably makes a little bit more sense for our share content. So another thing we could probably do is truncate chars to like 20. And then that way it's going to actually cut down the content quite a bit. Um, so those in conjunction is probably what you do for something like Twitter or things that just don't have that much content or allow that much content anyway. So I'm going to actually change it to like 80. But this is going to be up to you. And really, uh, at the end of the day, you could keep it where it's a context variable, um, just like this. Or you can use it in the model itself. So in the model itself, you could even put a field in here as the share link or the share field. And then having a receiver function, either pre-save or post-save, um, and actually creating that share function for you to where it's actually a, a field of this. You can also use a method, like a instance method, that would also do it. Um, so there's, a, there's several different ways on how you can do so many things in code, but this is one of them. Just wanted to show you how to do uh, custom template tags anyway, as well as just a very basic way of sharing things on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Reddit. Um, so if you have any questions on this, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.